Michael Smith, six police officers have now died in Georgia this year. DeKalb County Officer Edgar Flores was laid to rest just last week, his funeral the day after his 24th birthday. He was shot while responding to a traffic stop. In October, Gwinnett County Police Officer Antoine Tony was shot and killed six days after his 30th birthday. Officer Tony was responding to a call about a suspicious car in Snellville. Police later killed the suspect, 18-year-old Tafari Maynard, after they found him hiding in a shed. He'd threatened officers with a lawnmower blade before they shot him. In February, Locust Grove Officer Chase Maddox was killed in Henry County. Police say he was trying to serve an arrest warrant when Tyree Guthrie opened fire on officers. Officers shot back, killing him, but not before he shot Maddox. Maddox was 26 years old. His wife was pregnant with her second son when he was killed. She gave birth to a healthy boy four days later. In May, Savannah officer Anthony Christie was killed while directing traffic on Interstate 16. Christie was a decorated war veteran. He'd been with the department for two and a half years. And in September, Ludowici Police Chief Frank McClellan was killed trying to stop a car during a high-speed chase. McClellan was a Vietnam veteran, and he was a great-grandfather. The birds have left the trees, the light pours onto me. I can feel you lying there all on your own We got here the hard way All those words that we exchange Is it any wonder things can go? Cause in my heart and in my hand I'll never take back the things I said So high and bold I feel it coming down injure and kill as many law enforcement officers as they could. Now all the birds have fled, the hurt just leaves me scared, losing everything I've ever known. It's all become too much, maybe I'm not built for love, if I knew that I could reach you I would go.